give your flat die cuts added dimension. I'll show you several different techniques coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. So I just want to show you the card and give you a close-up shot of the different ways that the cats have dimension. Because there's, there's a lot of action going on in this card and it's a fun card and there's many different depths going on here. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to give you a close-up look and uh, we'll, we'll discuss the different techniques as we build the card. So let's get started. So today I am going to make a birthday card for someone very close to me, actually, she's my sister. And um, I have these very cute dies from Waffle Flower. And they are, this, the die set is called Catitude. And I also have the Cat Tree House, which is very cute as well. And there's even a little mousy in here, so he's really cute. And then, then I got some of these sentiments, um, sub-sentiments cat. So I don't know if I'll use those or not, but I will definitely be using the dies. And um, so what I have done was I just put the whole set of dies down on some cardstock. And I taped the back of it with uh, some of the scrapbook.com um mint tape and that way they'll stay in place while I color them and I plan to use my um, colored pencils my June gold to color these up so I will do this off camera and be right back I've colored up my cats and um, put together the tree house and I I used um, a grayish uh, cardstock for these components, these separate components. And um, I, I, I just cut, used a piece of scrap for this uh, piece in the background instead of using a door. And so I colored the cats, as I said, and I tucked this guy inside. And uh, I made a little yarn ball just out of cardstock. And I, Put my little mouse there. So I went online to um, get some ideas for coloring up the cats. I also went on to the Waffle Flower site for some ideas on how they colored up the cats. Uh, but got most of them from just Googling images of cats. So uh, what I did with the string after I dyed it was I just looped it around here for, uh, you know, kind of that sizal or whatever it is cats scratch on so now i'm going to mount this and um, be right back so i chose some uh, printed papers i have loads of printed paper that i hardly ever use anymore i used to use it for special projects um so i chose a, a piece for the background and i went corner to corner basically on the front of the card and I chose this as a secondary uh, matting layer. And I think what I'm going to do is, um, I think I'm gonna splatter, put some splatter on it. <laughs> Try my hand at that again without getting too heavy handed. And um, I also should say that I put some foam behind these four cats just to give them a little more dimension so they didn't get sucked up in the background. So I brought out some of my um, distress sprays, the uh, oxide sprays, not knowing which color would be appropriate. And I didn't, I don't have every color. So I first grabbed some of my uh, re-inkers. So I thought I would just splatter on the blue just one or two of the colors. The, I tried to choose colors that were in the background here and I don't know if they'll get sucked up into this blue um, or if they'll stay on the surface and be seen. So I'll go ahead and try that and be right back. 
So I have this um, sentiment set in matching dyes, and it's the uh, pet thoughts that I plan to use on the card. And I have temporarily laid one out there. So I am going to cut out another one and I'll, I'll see how I, what I think about them when, they, when I lay them out on the card. So I'll be right back. So I realized that during my filming, I did not really explain the reason for the, um, I didn't explain the techniques that I was using to, to give the uh, dimension. So what I did was I, I doubled up some of the cats and I tripled some of the cat layers. And the cat structure, the, the cat uh, tree house, actually is three layers thick itself. And um, so that, that gives us a lot of dimension already right there in addition to these added uh, pieces for the cat beds on top and the little cat hut. The sizal gives us a lot of dimension and a lot of texture. So adding the additional shelves here, which I ended up, I think I've got like, I don't know, five layers maybe, um, plus, using foam tape behind some of the cats and bringing cats forward in varying degrees. So all of this gives our, what would normally be our flat die cuts, gives us a lot of dimension. And it, it really brings this scene to life. I mean, it is just paper, after all, we're just talking about paper, but it takes an, what would normally be an ordinary flat surface of cats up to a very dimensional, interesting storyboard. So I well, in the end, I, I felt that these uh, sentiments were just too, too big too big for the cats, so I decided not to use those. And I just decided to go with my happy birthday sentiment. And on the inside, I used a honeybee sentiments, honeybee stamps, uh, inside birthday sentiment. So that's the finished card. And I think my sister's really gonna like it. So I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you for watching.